Hello and welcome to time of the month. I was just looking back at my January time of the month and already I'm really enjoying looking back on things that were only like a few weeks ago. How amazing is it going to be in like years to come when I can look back on all the people and places and moments in my life right now, all the things that I'm experiencing. One video in, I'm already loving this series. The response has been great, so thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoy this one as much as the last. This is February. I mean, that's going in. <laughs> Welcome to February. Welcome. So it's kind of a weird one because we're on this trip, which is spanning over the end of January and the start of February. I didn't know whether to start or stop, but I think let's let's stick to the rules. I mean, we've just sat on our asses <laughs> all day debating life, religion, and yeah, it's the universe. Really deep. It has been. Get that fucking view. This place is so nice. I'm so sad to go back to London tomorrow. We're gonna go on a little walk now. Every month, I have like a thing. You know what I mean? What's this doing? It's flashing. Every month I have a thing. In January, I was doing the BBC thing. March is going to be like crazy busy pre-production month for the short film I'm filming in April. What is my camera doing? What? What do you want from me? And then April obviously is going to be about like getting the film done. And then May, it's going to be post-production, get the film uploaded. I can see you flashing, I don't know what you mean. Every month there's a thing, and every month recently there's been a thing. <sighs> this month has no thing. I'm here at the Game of Thrones exhibition in the O2 with my good friend Daniel J. Layton. No, Hazel, I'm here, that's oh, not me. I can oh, see. It's oh. just, you can see. There is emblem. It's close enough, but yeah, it's just yeah. And that actually hurts inside a bit. Dan and I are about to ascend the wall, which I know what it means. Oculus Rift technology. I'm actually legit very excited. But what I liked was when I got on, I like put my hand down on the railing like this and then they put the mask on and stuff and I turned and looked down at my hand and my hand oh, wasn't there! Yeah. <laughs> that was a real head process. It was proper intense. It was really <laughs> Today I'm doing a little interview with uh, an old college mate, I suppose you would say. What yeah. kind of mate? Yeah! It was, we knew each other in college a good while ago. This is Emmett anyway and um, he's here to interview me for uh, the Sunday Business Post technology magazine Connected which is going to be out on the 1st of March in Ireland. Actually, this video won't be up until after that, so the magazine is out and you can go have a look at it now. A wild Hannah Witten appears. Raw. <laughs> Good. We've just recorded some audio for... Sammy and Tim. Sammy and Tim. What's it for? We didn't even ask. Oh, wait, no, it's it's part of their next short film. So I think there's an episode of the Great British Bake Off happening in the background, but yeah, they really? couldn't use actual audio from that, so we had to be... Say some lines. Them. I think exciting. I was Mary Berry. Yeah, you were a female judge, aka Mary Berry. I was contestant number five, aka loser. Very soggy <laughs> bottoms all round. <laughs> so after a long day at the office, I'm now enjoying a glass of prosecco. I'm hooking up once again. <laughs> hooking up once again with the lovely Andrea. Hello. That's, oh. Who obviously if you see if you've seen the last vlog, I met Andrea on the BBC bike flight shoot and I just refused to let these friends go. I refused to the point that I don't want to be here. Oh, then she just made me come. So that's why I'm drinking. We've had the pizza and a couple of drinks. Now we've got a bottle of rosé and a bag of Doritos. I didn't want the and Doritos. And some takeaway pizza express. I didn't, I didn't want the Doritos. This one didn't even finish a pudding. There I was she with a brownie. She didn't even finish a pudding. There's no way she deserves Doritos. I don't think I've ever been in a hoodie on YouTube before. Is that a thing? Is that true? Maybe I have. Leave a comment. Let me know. Don't do that. Yesterday, I uploaded my first time of the month video. 
lol lol lol. I will never get over how hilarious that title is, by the way. Menstrual cycle jokes. You know, I was nervous about trying something new. I always am. And in particular, I was nervous because, you know, it was quite personal and I was really, you know, being quite vulnerable and putting myself out there. But once again, you bloody beautiful people, the comments have just been amazing. Firstly, the fact that everyone seemed really happy with it being quite long. Like From what you said, it seemed like you were really happy to watch it. And I got loads of tweets as well from people who said, you know, it was nice to just kind of kick back and watch YouTube for half an hour. A lot of them were saying like, I really like how this was made. I loved like the music that you used, or I really appreciate the way this was all edited together. Like you did a good job of that. But it really is lovely as someone who I guess is kind of trying to like bridge the gap between vlogger and filmmaker a little bit. I'm already enjoying February's one, so here's to the rest of that. You know that um, completely cliched TV movie trope thing? Oh, I'm dark. Oh, I'm back. Um, of like a girl getting ready in her house and she's like dancing around to music and you're like, girls are angel. Girls do do that. I've just been doing that for the past to um, because I'm going out for dinner with Louise who I haven't seen in genuinely I think it's been about a month and it's so lovely to have her back in my life. Got a pretty dress on, got my heels on, um, ready to go. Let's do this. Guess who's this arm is? Phil? Yay! Yay! Hello! Hi. You look great. You do too. <laughs> you look upside down and booby. In, um, They're trying to figure out what I look like. 30s. She, she works on a plane. plane. Yeah. She works on a plane. No, not a plane, like no. a boat. No. A boat? Yeah. With the Russian. You know, the telephone due to like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. change my eyes. During the war. Yeah, during yeah. the war. The private investigator. Yeah. 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 It's a war room where they have sticks with the boats and they were that like, all moving. That is what we're all thinking. That's what you look like. The stick boat lady. Wants to drink like the radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that hairstyle does for you. We're in a restaurant called Sketch, where the toilets are like these pod things, and you step inside them, and then all these like whispery noises happen. It's all quite odd. Okay. Ollie just got here, hello. He's had an what? unfortunate shirt clash with John. You can't really see the colour on this. Yeah. She's a new woman. I'm a new woman. She's a new woman. Oh, oh, I bought red underwear. She bought red underwear. I bet you look fabulous in it. I arrived at the venue this morning uh, for this Ribena day, which you will see the video for soon if it's not up already, where they're having a contest um, to help someone win a holiday and I've arrived and uh, myself and the Tiki man can't find anyone but we're just driving around Brick Lane in this rather delightful little car so I mean even if we did this all day that might be quite fun. <laughs> Finally found the place thanks to Steve the tuk-tuk driver. I'm surprisingly joined by Mr Alfie Days. Hey. Ms Maddie Chester. Uh, Sam King is here but he's just popped outside to start his vlogging. I went out last night as you know with Louise and the gang. I had a few, I had a few. And I was up at 6 a.m. And um, it's it's starting to hit. It's starting to hit. Starting me. to hit you. Go get like a nice breakfast, all right. and then have a coffee, oh, and yeah. just bring it all up. Right. Make sure you have a shower, fresh air. It's all good. That was Sam King with that's his how, hangover advice. Hang hang <laughs> not to be hungover with Sam King. Back to you from the studio. <laughs> The 
Today has just been like absolutely bizarre. But my contestant Yasmin, who's here, the lovely Yasmin, oh, unfortunately okay. didn't win. <laughs> yeah, I will. But you've had some good times. Yeah, I have. And I got bruised. She got hit in the face yeah. with a pineapple. I've got a <laughs> it's been really nice meeting yeah, you. It's been really nice meeting you too. quick vlog from the bathroom of Sky News Studios. I've um, just been to hair and makeup. I'm on the air in five minutes. A bit nervous, but excited. And uh, God, I hope it goes well. I just, just, I just hope I don't curse. It's like the biggest thing right now is I just hope I don't drop the F bomb on Sky News. I won't. I just, I just won't. quickly and then all of a sudden it, you're on TV and they're saying words and you got to talk to them and um, I think I was quite nervous to begin with so I sounded a bit strange and then everyone started sending me screen grabs of how I looked <laughs> now I'm freaking out because I think I looked a bit like an Oompa Loompa but sure what can you do good experience nice way to start Valentine's Day what's Valentine's Day by the way hello after um, the Sky News thing today we decided randomly just to stop at the breakfast club and have brunch which was delish Valentine's Day. We were supposed to go out for dinner tonight, but um, I realised that Ireland were playing France in the Six Nations, and I mean, I couldn't miss that, could I? What kind of Irish one would I be? So, sorry, I'm watching the rugby in the background, and I just like they keep almost scoring a try. I decided on a bit of a whim, really, yesterday to make a Valentine's video called Fifty Shades of Grey, which would just be like 50 actual shots of shades of the colour grey with just like silly names on them and stuff. And I've ended up spending a lot of Valentine's Day doing it, so um, God bless Ollie, he's so good, he didn't mind. Um, he's in there making meatballs now, listening to Johnny Flynn and just singing away. Don't know if you can hear him. Just uploading it now and I'm really keen to see people's reaction because it is a bit of a weird one. It's a bit of a strange one. All is making meatballs. All is making meatballs. All is making meatballs. All is making meatballs. 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 No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, it checks out. Always be turning, ABT. Always, always be turning, is that the trick, is it? Is that yeah. the secret? They look fucking amazing. a recording studio to do the VO for the BBC Bite Size stuff that we didn't get yeah, on the day. Which is great because it means I get to see some of the crew again. Um, that's Dan over there. The director. There's a Jess! Yeah. yeah! It's so nice to see all my peoples again! Okay, so Sign song for plot, page five. Pondicherry Lodge, the scene of a murder. Thaddeus' brother, Bartholomew Sholto, lies dead. We found the biscuit tin. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. Look at this variety of biscuits. I mean, what are you yes, going these for? Are the creme oh de la God. creme. A, is that a Vietnamese finger? finger? A Vietnamese, <laughs> a Vietnamese finger. Oh, Brilliant. Will you enjoy that, Jeff? <laughs> That's a little version. <laughs> Look at the sassy stamp on me. Sassy. <laughs> this is the sound recording booth. Yay. It's very fancy. It's, it's the not room. as the carpet isn't as nice in this room. And welcome to BBC Radio One. This is Jessica Maskell with Songs of the Nineties. <laughs> fully 
a wrap on the BBC Bite Size stuff now that I've done my VO, all done and dusty. I'm back at YouTube, YouTube, to visit everyone, hang out in the space for the day, get a bit of work done here. And now I'm off to have a dinner with my lovely boyfriend Ollie and Louise and Ben Cook, which will be nice because I haven't seen him in quite some time now. I'm starting to feel a bit ill. I've decided I think I'm coming down with something really rather grotesque. I am not wearing black. Yay! Congratulations. Sure minute, eh? Congratulations, Ben. How's your life? Good? Good life? Yep. You're wearing black? I am, yes. You're dressed as me. Louise looks a little bit like, um, you know those sexy aliens in the Star Trek The Original series? A lot of blacks, a lot of silver, it's very smoky. Sexy alien. Ollie? Hi. What's up? How you doing? All good. I yeah. put my contacts in backwards this morning. Oh my god! I've been crying all day. So I've got new hair now. Yeah, new Okay, hair. good. I'll Great. That's a really good anecdote. Great banter. Excellent. Okay, good. So we're going to eat now and then complete radio silence while I probably sweat and bomb for a few days. That night of the dinner, I was like, I'm not feeling well. I'm coming down with something. And I did. The last couple of days I've been really sick. Yesterday was Pancake Tuesday and I was all alone in my apartment feeling sorry for myself. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm making pancakes. Went to Tesco in my PJs, no less. Um, got all the ingredients and made, can I just say, the nicest pancakes ever. <laughs> favorites video today about the script I've been working on and the short film I've been working on that I've been saying a lot about. There's been a, a pretty big setback which means that I may not be able to go ahead with the film which is um, kind of devastating. <laughs> Everyone who's kind of put the time and effort in so far on it is kind of upset as well but the show must go on the show will go on. Come hell or high water, there will be a show for you guys to watch, don't you worry. You guys always see the thing once it's made, you know, and, and everyone's all happy and it's done. But yeah, there's often sort of trials and tribulations along the way. I don't know when I'm gonna vlog again, I guess maybe this weekend when I'm heading home to Ireland. Good morning. Today we are off to Ireland, Era, the Emerald Isle, the motherland, the homeland. Show sure there's more. Um, I'm packing, that's my suitcase there at the moment. Ollie's in the other room packing, we're nearly ready to go. Taxi's gonna be here in just a second, so let's get to it. Oh my god. How are you feeling Excellent. about it? I'm ready for this. You ready for it again? <laughs> I had a feeling that in my absence she'd been up to something. I could just tell. Look at this! She's redecorated. Oh my god. Oh, it's gorgeous! You really like it? Look! Oh, Jesus, look. Look <laughs> what I've done. It's I a stunning look! stars. Alone. Andrew and Eleanor collected all the stars. Basically she spends her life trying to make me cry. And look, all your trinkets, and all your photos. All... She got me pyjamas with owls on. Of course, <laughs> I couldn't leave the owls on. Totes <laughs> tired, that's hilarious. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous, thank you Helen. Love you. Love you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh. It's gorgeous, it's really gorgeous. has latched herself onto Ollie. She hasn't spoken to me all day. 
every time I look at the child, she gives me a sad face and a lip and runs away. He walks in. <laughs> and this. She's like a baby monkey. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I her pyjamas around. Are you all right? Are you okay? Are you all right, chicken? Ooh, is she all right? Do you want a hug? She's just having a hug. When you do go to the chipper, what you have to do is, first of all, get in your mammy's car, because you haven't got one anymore, have you? You've moved to London. You take that car down to Macari's chipper in Rohini. You park illegally, if at all possible. Also make sure that you've left the house in your pyjamas. Now, I've got this lovely pair here with owls on, and I've just thrown a coat over it. Now, some might say that's not particularly fashionable. I would call it North Dublin chic. If you've a boyfriend at all, a brother, a sister, a friend, anyone really willing to put their jeans on and go inside, send them in to do the dirty work. Make sure you get a snack box, loads of salt and vinegar on there, fresh cod if at all possible. He's going for a battered sausage, I think. Always get an extra single of chips because my mother says, no, 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 I'm not hungry, I don't want anything. Anyone at home saying they don't want anything from the chipper, as soon as they smell it, they will want it. So we've gone for three singles of chips instead of two, just to make sure that she has something. Oh, boss. You know, there's a lot of thought and effort that goes into this. It really, there really is, it's quite strategic. It's quite strategic. So um, now you know, now you've got the full load down. The next time you do it, you'll do it right. Here he comes, the man himself, the man, the legend, the one and only Oliver Smythe with a boatload of chips. Get in, Ollie! Fucking do this! Like what? Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello and welcome to the madness that is a Sunday dinner at my mother's house. We've got, I think, about 17 people coming around for dinner today because since I've been here since Christmas, there's been six birthdays, including mine, and what we do is we tend to kind of save them up so that when I'm back with Ollie, we all have a big dinner together and celebrate everything together. Two of my nieces have birthdays, my brother, me, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. So lots of cakes, lots of candles, lots of balloons. My mother's gone all out on it and they're all gonna be arriving any second now. Got for in fairness. Why are you making Christmas pudding? <laughs> Fair enough. Airport to go for a little drive down out to Malahide along the coast and have a wee look. I mean, it's, it's pretty great, it looks like it's gonna rain any second now, but we'll go out and have a look at the ocean before we go because you can't see it in London. Oh, there you are. Oh, Isn't for that focus, lovely? Love. Yeah, there's Alba. Hi.
I started out this month really sort of apprehensive about what it was going to be and what it was going to mean for me. But I have to say, I'm actually leaving this month a lot more content in myself. I'm feeling a lot more sure of things. And it's weird because things aren't very sure right now. And I think I have to give credit for that to the people in my life. Not having Louise for all of January was genuinely really weird. And I'm not sure that she knows this, but she grounds me and calms me down. And, and just having her call me and, and go on some crazy rant down the phone at me actually helps. It helps me feel sane. Ollie and I have had a better February too. January was tough for us. Um, I had that eight day run of just, you know, working solid and not really being able to see him and he was traveling a lot too. So we've really made the effort to make extra time for each other this month and stop and appreciate each other, which is important in any relationship. And I think there's a silver lining out of the fact that my film isn't going ahead because the people in my life have really rallied around me and it's reminded me what amazing people I have. Crystal Smith, the producer, sent an email to me and the production manager, Dave, just saying, don't worry about it, it's a film. You've made them before, you can make it again we've got your back, we'll support you and you can do it. Dave replied to say, yeah, don't worry. Like I know we've put a lot of work in, but we can transfer that work. Not a big deal, it's gonna be okay. Ollie's been super supportive. My mother even phoned to say, Hazel, like you've dealt with bigger and worse things in your life. You can do this, it's just a film. Sammy called and he said, let's have a brainstorming day. You know, come with all the ideas for all the films you have and let's walk away from the day knowing what it is that you're going to make. So while nothing's actually set in stone, I'm optimistic and confident that I will have a plan soon. If I had to just pick one big thing in February, it would be remembering all the great people in my life, remembering the amazing support that I have, all these wonderful people who love me and care for me and genuinely want the best for me and that really means a lot so that's been February.